I've interviewed a few um, dominatrixes and they've all said the same thing that, yes, you know, the role they play is, is somebody that, you know, kind of bosses the other person around to, to say the least, um, inflicts pain. If you're doing that kind of, you know, spanking or, um, you know, whatever kind of play involves that, but that it's always in a situation where the submissive has control of the situation. Like the submissive oh, always gets yes. to set the boundaries and you play within those boundaries. And, um, Aiden star, I think put it really well when she said, you know, yes, I like to, you know, beat men up and I like to make them, um, drink my piss and stuff like that. But I don't want to do that to somebody unless they really want it. Like I'm actually turned mm -hmm. off by the idea of punishing someone who doesn't want to be punished. And I, I think that's something that a lot of people who have no experience in the BDSM world don't understand. They see yeah. you know, submissives often as victims. So how um, could you explain to somebody who like really doesn't understand the dynamic, why submissives, um, you know, generally why they have in a really, in a good relationship, Dom submissive relationship, why they have the control and maybe how you set those boundaries mm -hmm. with them before you, you enact play. Well, um, you know, in any kind of a sense where I'm meeting, um, you know, a prospective slave or something like that, uh, they always come to me for one thing, I have them fill out a, a long questionnaire, do's and don'ts, describe your fantasies, that kind of stuff, you know, general get to know you in a kinky way kind of questions. Cause I mm -hmm. want to know, like, are, are you, are, do you want to be humiliated? Cause we can go there, but mm -hmm. I can also be a very sensual dom and, you know, play with, um, sensual, uh, uh, essential deprivation and latex fetishes where it's more sensual, but then, you know, I can also be a crazy, um, you know, mad scientist and you can be my, my mental patient. And that's fun too. <laughs> but I always have, um, like a uh, strict protocols that I always send slaves, you know, these are my do's and don'ts. What, you know, I want to make sure that everything is mutual and everything is, consensually mutual you know it's mm -hmm. definitely not about just fucking with someone who doesn't deserve it thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the show make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos i film every single one of my podcasts and if you want to listen to the audio version i'm on itunes and all the other podcast platforms visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more